Yes, now YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we have my Premier League 2024 to 2025 season prediction review thing. Um, I wanted to wait, and I know the community shield's on today. Viva Man U, come on. Um, but uh, we're going to predict the 2024 season as, is, as it is a week away, and I'm uh, excited. You know, to get into this, I've ne I've done one previously, um, three years ago, and I've never done one since because it's just pointless. But good content, so we're gonna do this. So, um, who am I going to be choosing to get relegated? That is the thing, and I just at the minute, I don't know. It's I'm hoping it's gonna be a great season. Obviously, Ipswich to go down first, um, and I'm gonna say they are gonna finish twentieth. Ipswich are one of those teams they've signed some players, but I just don't. I thought Luton were gonna stay up. But they didn't, and th this is basically the 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 team that you didn't expect to go up. But um, who else do I think I'm gonna put? So I'm gonna put Ipswich twentieth. Who else are gonna join him though? That's the, it's gonna be a very rogue one. Um, but I'm gonna put Nottingham Forest in nineteenth because they've had their time. Um, in the Premier League, they were close to relegation last year. They've obviously signed some players, but. I th I think this season that's it for them. Um, I think they will go down. I did say they'd go down last season, myself, but they didn't. That's fair enough. Good on them. They stayed up. Um, they sacked Steve Cooper. They brought in who is it? Nuno, and it's Nuno is such such a defensive manager. I feel like they're just gonna crumble this season, and they're gonna finish nineteenth. Next up, I'm gonna put Southampton. Just go straight back down. Probably not. It's it's borderline for me. They're either going to finish 18th or 17th, but I'm going to put them 18th because I feel like they are going to go down, and I and that means the team that st that recently got promoted, Leicester City, I think will stay up, um, and I'm going to put them in soon. But um, yeah, I I believe these are three are going to go straight down. Um, Forest obviously been in the Premier League for quite a bit of time, but I do believe they will go down, and uh, kind of hoping that they do. Um, these three though. These three though will go down. I I'm I believe they will. And um yeah, that's my relegation. Now let's move on to eleventh to seventeenth. And for seventeenth, I have put Wolves. Um they finished fourteenth last season. Um they did struggle at the start of the season because they did get disallowed goals, they've had VAR contradictions and stuff like that. But I believe Wolves are gonna finish seventeenth and uh probably just barely scraping it, to be honest. They sold Max Killerman. I don't know who else they've signed, to be honest. All I know is Max Kilman is off to West Ham, who has signed. And um, yeah, I believe Wolves are going to finish 17th. And next, I'm going to put Leicester City to finish 16th. Um, it's either 16th or 15th for me, so it's sort of, you know, they're on the borderline. Um, but yeah, I feel like Leicester, um, with, the, with Steve Cooper, first season, it could be ropey. But I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say Leicester City are going to stay up. And... Um, they're going to struggle the season after, I reckon. But who knows? We'll have to see. But yeah, Leicester are in 16th. Next up, I'm going to put Brentford in 15th. Brentford, of course. Brentford, of course, finished 16th last season. So this is why I'm going to put Brentford in 15th. Um, they they had a mere season, to be honest. Ivan Tony was out for six months. Now Ivan Tony's there. It kind of is, you know, what they need. Um, they need a shit as a striker, and they've got one. And they've also brought in a new one. I don't know his name, um, but they spent quite a bit of money on it. I think he's Brazilian. I could be wrong, um, but it's a good good deal. Um, but Tony is wanting to leave, and Manchester United are linked to him. I think Tottenham were linked to him. I think Arsenal are linked to him. Um, I believe he wants to leave, but no one's going in for him, so it's sort of difficult for him to you know join a team. So I'm gonna put Brentford fifteenth. Next, I'm going to put Fulham in 14th. I believe Fulham might have a good season. Who knows? They finished pretty well last season. They finished one position above. Obviously, with Paulinho gone, it might be a struggle. But who knows? I kind of don't think it will be. They are interested in Scott McTominay now. He is a box-to-box -box midfielder who loves to run. So uh, maybe he could score the extra few goals if, if he does join. But yeah, Man U want thirty million for him, which is understandable. Uh, but Paulinho did go to Bayern Munich, and he is incredible. Paulinho he carried Fulham um, defensively, so um, 
yeah, I'm going to say they finished 14th. I'm going to I'm gonna go with that. Next up, I'm going to put Bournemouth in 13th. Now, last season, they finished 12th, mid-table. Near yeah, mid-table, you know. Um, they were close to Chelsea pretty much. Half the season, they were literally ch- on, up Chelsea's arse, um, from what I remember. And then Chelsea just went from, I think, about 11th or 12th to 8th. So, um, conversely, could have been. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, I, I do believe Bournemouth are going to do it now. As I, as I have recorded this video before, uh, the Community Shield Tottenham have signed Solanke. So, this might go down shit. Um, but we'll have to find out. Um, Hopefully, my prediction is right. I'm hoping all these predictions are right. Otherwise, I, my ball knowledge goes from there to about off the camera. Just off the camera. Oh, dear. Next, I'm going to put Everton, which is going to be a surprise, in 12th. <laughs> this. Hold on. Uh, 17, 16, 15, 14, 12. Next up, I'm going to put Everton in 11th. It's kind of mental. But I do believe Everton are going to have a good season this season. Um, Sean Dyche has got to, got to perform, otherwise he's on the verge of a sack. I'm hoping he doesn't because he's a fucking baller. I love Sean Dyche. He's such a shit as a manager, and I love it. Um, he's sort of, but he, but he is like just oh, I love him. Such a such a man, you know. Um, but yeah, I believe Everton will finish 11th and I'm hoping it's right. Please be right. Next, I'm going to put Crystal Palace to finish mid-table. Finish mid-table last season. They've had such a good season last season. Elise carried him and obviously Elise's moved to Bayern Munich, but they've brought in replacements and I believe they'll be fine, to be honest. I believe they'll be fine. They've brought in Ismail Asar, who the, I, I believe is their Elise replacement, but I don't think don't think it'll be fine, but I think they'll be fine. I believe they'll be fine, so um, I'm going to put Crystal Palace in 10th. Next up, I'm going to put Brighton in 9th. Um, they've, they had a mess season last season. I'm going to be real. With their manager leaving, it doesn't prove um, they finished 11th last season, so I imagine they'll finish top table. Um, they, they, they went from you know European football, playing against Roma in the Europa League, to getting knocked out by Roma and getting absolutely peppered by them. They have such a good recruitment, such a good, you know, um, expansive way of playing. They are like a team that does not care what you think. They they play they play ball. They they are incredible, Brian. They've gone from there to there in a couple of seasons and it's just incredible to see. Um I respect it from them. I respect them so highly. Um, but yeah, as you can see at the bottom of my screen, there is quite a bit of club still to go. And then, um, yeah, we'll move on. Next, I have put West Ham in seventh. Fucking hell, I'm losing count. Um, they, they, I believe they are going to... If they don't finish seventh, they'll finish Europa League, Conference League. I don't know. That's the thing. It's such a hard one to tell because they've signed so many good players. They are moving. They've signed full Krug. Uh, that Rodriguez guy, the Argentinian CDM, I think from Betis, um, Hillman, they're in for Juan Bissaka, mate. They are moving, and I love to see it. Um, I'm so happy for them because they they were there when they won the Conference League. They were so fucking good. It was unbelievable. Um, they deserve to, you know, be, you know, the top end, the the best of the rest in sort of some sort of sense. Um. But hopefully, hopefully this prediction is right and they will finish, you know, seventh. Or maybe they might finish higher. Who knows? But I'm going to put them seventh. Sorry, eighth. I've just wrote, I've just realized it's eighth. Sorry. So next, I'm going to put Tottenham in seventh. I know I said seventh for West Ham, but I meant eighth. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, I, I do believe Tottenham will have a good season. Obviously, they started off this season, last season very strong. Um, the hype was there. They were like, all oh, this saying, oh my God, we're going to win the league. We're going to win the league. Ange passed the cockle, master class. Oh my God, oh my God. No. Going to be real here. They're going to start off shit. Um, and then they're going to have a good end to the season. They're going to finish seventh. I'm going to say for the start of the season, they'll be like flowing mid table and then they'll climb into seventh. Um, hopefully that prediction is correct. 
but then obviously signed Son Lanky. They've they've brought in um, who else have they brought in? Let me check. They've signed Archie Gray, Solanke, Lucas Bergval, and I believe there's one more that I'm missing, but you you get the point. And um, that Lucas Bergval, oh my god, he is a wonder kid. I'm I'm I tried to sign him on FM multiple times, and of course he got goes, goes to Tottenham, so you know <laughs> we're fucked. But yeah, I think I think they'll finish seventh. To be honest, um, they should be fine. But seventh, I'm going to put. Now next, I'm going to put Chelsea in sixth. It's going to be uh, quite a good season for Chelsea, I reckon. I'm going to say that they will finish sixth. To be honest, I reckon they will. Um, should be nice for them. Uh, they should find their groove this season. Cole Palmer last season, you know, twenty goals and twenty assists. It's it's incredible. Um, still not cold. He's Cole Palmer, but he's not cold. Um, but yeah, I, I believe this season they'll be fine. Um, obviously they need to bring in a striker, and um, they spent sixty million on Neto the day before I recorded this. So you know, it could be a could be an interesting one. Um, they do spend quite a lot of money, and I don't even know why, to be honest. Um, but who knows. Um, soon they'll be filing for bankruptcy. By the way, they're going um, with the spending because it's just ridiculous. I don't know where they're pulling this fucking money from and how FFP is not catched on yet. But um, we'll have to see. We'll have to find out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put Chelsea next. I'm gonna put Newcastle in fifth. Next, we're gonna put Newcastle in fifth. Um, I believe they'll be bloody average. Last season they finished. I think it was ninth. Sorry, they finished seventh. Um, but yeah, I, bl- I believe they'll finish sort of around there. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I can't count. Um, I'm going to put Crystal Palace 11th, Brighton 10th. I'm going to swap Tottenham and West Ham around. Chelsea, you know, just, and then Newcastle 5th. Um, couldn't count, that's my bad. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing now. Um, so. Sort of can't count, so I'm sorry. But yeah, you probably noticed that already. Um, but yeah, that is what I'll do. Um, Newcastle, yeah, bang average season, probably. Probably more than bang average. I don't know. Newcastle can have ups and downs, but Tonali, I think, should be back this season, but let's find out when. Um, but when they get him back, I think they will. I think Newcastle will probably get Conference League, to be honest. Um, I keep thinking it's fifth because the way this is, but it's not. It's sixth. Move on. Next, we're going to put Aston Villa in fifth. I know, fifth. Um, the only reason of this is because I I don't think they'll have the same season. Um, they've obviously, you know, had to sell and buy to meet, meet FFP. They sold Douglas Louise, which is probably a stupid move, but they have brought in Amadou and Anna. It was class, but yeah. Um, Diaby's obviously off to Saudi, so, uh, well, it has signed for Saudi, so it's a bit different, but yeah, um, I'm going to put Aston Villa in fifth, and uh, we'll move on to the top four now. It's going to be so controversial, but I'm going to put Liverpool's Arnold Schlott into fourth. I don't care. Man you for everyone. Um, the reason is, new manager. What else can I say? Not signed anyone. They might have a good season, they might not. Who knows? And I know, I know, I know. Why is Man U in the top four? I believe they get top four this year, easily. We've signed Zertsky, Lenny Yaro. We're after the lit, Ugarte and Mazarawi. Um, I'm hoping we can get Ugarte because that signing would be unreal. Um, oh my God, I'd be so nice. It'd be so nice to get Ugarte um, and Casemiro, but I think Casemiro might be off to Saudi. He says he wants to stay, but I, well, I believe he goes Saudi at the end of the at the end of the window. Um, and hopefully we can bring in Ugarte before, you know, Fulham. Um, I would love, 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 love to have Ugarte in, but who knows. Um, yeah, I believe Ten Hag will cook this season. He's actually got two strikers. Obviously, Hoyland's out for a bit. Lenny Yara's out for two months, so we kind of do need to bring in another centre-back. Um, so I'm hoping we get the lit quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put my new in third. And no, I am not delusional. Man City will finish second, which means Arsenal will win the Premier League. I'm 
saying that with 100% confidence. I don't want to see Man City win again. If they win again, I will cry. I will fucking cry. Do you hear me? I will fucking cry. I will cry. I'm telling you, I will cry. It's kind of hoping that um, the the season finishes with Arsenal on top. Um, They deserve to win the league last season. And uh, Man City just, you know, took took steroids and um, obviously turned into incredible FC um, because they are cheating scums. The charges are there. Nothing's going to tell me otherwise. They are cheaters. Um, And Arsenal, obviously, they should have won it last season again, like I keep saying. But yeah, um, that is going to be my Premier League predictions. If you guys have enjoyed this video, if you want to see more videos like this again, um, I can't count, so we've had to change some stuff up. But it's still, I still believe that should be my prediction. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment down below, all that good stuff. And I am out. Take care. Peace.